Okay, maybe yes. All right, hello. Now is um, 25th of April. I'm still learning how to channel, and every day it's something new. Um, I feel after the channel channeling is done, I feel still the leftover of the energies, and my voice comes to normal slowly, and the presence of these personalities is within me. Um, and even before the channeling starts, I feel the, them coming and kind of knocking on the door. And, and I mean, it happens in the past, but, but now I interpret it differently. So if something presses on my ear or there is some sensation like um, goosebumps, now I think, oh, they're here, they want something. or And I start talking to them. I, I, I don't hear the answer, but I get the ideas and messages as ideas, not as words. So I get the ideas. So when, when I channel, I, I'm still here, but I let them play with whatever they want, mostly. I kind of censor a little bit. You know, if I think they say something wrong, I would maybe edit it. Yeah, I'm editing somewhat. Mm -hmm. So that's what is happening. So actually, it's your own interpretation. It's not uh, what you hear, it's interpretations. I don't oh. hear anything. I let them speak to me. And they kind of pick whatever they like, but it's more me speaking, and they inspire whatever they pick. Some, if I lose the words, I wait and it comes. If I lose the idea, I wait and sometimes it comes. Sometimes it's just they, mostly they pick the ideas from whatever I already know. I yeah. rarely channel something new. I channel something which they find in me. But images come, images come, and um, ideas come. So that's how it goes right now. I uh, feel jealous to others who can just leave and, you know, they would speak through. Oh, you're doing great, Max. Oh, thank yes, you. Yes, yes, you are. You don't, you don't feel jealous. You're on the first step, you know. Yes, but I, I feel like it's every time is different. I feel every time it's different. Yeah, I'm it's getting learning. better. Yeah, since the when, uh, and the second, uh, now, or where you are from the first webinar, you're doing very well. Thank you. Thank I can tell. I get a special feeling whenever I see good channelers, and I get that with you. So congratulations. Okay. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, so I can bring uh, Takur. Oh, no, not Takur. Uh, the uh, the Liran Milki, Milkina. And I can bring uh, my, uh, my usual uh, entity uh, being Rojo. And maybe at some point I can bring also Grindel. It's up to you guys. Yeah. Sounds great. Any? All right. Let me invite Milkina. We'll see what happens. I, I, I she came through once, and uh, she might come again. And again, I, I intend to channel slowly and take my time for download. So forgive me for that. I, you know, it. They have to adjust. I have to adjust. It doesn't come fast. You're fine. No rush. Slow. Take your time. Forgive me, I'm still um, coming in. I'm not fully yet here, but as I speak, I might get more fully here. Hello. Hello, how are you? No harm. Yes. 
And um, Iran. Hello. Iran. Uh, Milkina, call me Mil Milkina. Milkina. Yes. Mm. Welcome. I'm Jan Liron. How Good nice. Hell. I love your energy. I'm, thank you. And I'm new to that project. Mm -hmm. But it's a pleasure. Yeah. Do you want and to tell us a little bit about yourself? I grew up far away. Some of that was on a ship, some of that was on one of our planets. I am still learning and exploring. The Earth Project is... challenging and attractive to me as a challenge. We are proud to spread the human race. We are humans too, as you know. We call ourselves humans. Mm -hmm. To spread the human, human race across the universe. Mm -hmm. And you are with Tikur in the same ship or no? That information is not coming through yet. I'm on one of related objects, ships, yes. Uh huh. I see. I have been referred by the Kerr. Oh. It's an honor to have you. Yes. The honor is mine. I wish to be of help and assistance to you. Oh, you heard about uh, my my problem here and my regarding my job? Yes. Do you think there's a conspiracy theory going on? Regarding what let me leave my job and then after all these years uh, I just this, I got this light in order to go back to a different job, but a better company. And then you say you got it light, or you go you want to go? I I miss it. I'm sorry. Please I explain got, a little more. Uh, I I left my job ten years ago, and then I got uh, I was trying to find something decent, and all this time nothing happened. No, I did my own thing, which is creating, designing, things like that. Yes. And it's not flying that well. It's not doing well. Yeah. So I was now thinking, regarding my mom is getting older and things like that, and she's somewhere in her 70s now. I was thinking that I had to have something secured. So uh, someone give me a light that there's this company that's looking for uh, applicants. Oh, and, yeah, that light is a company. Yeah. I see. And she goes, this is a good thing, and this is, this is exactly what you needed. And when I said, OK, and I heard about it, I said, fine. And then this is what happens. Uh, same old pattern that I've been doing. The pattern is everybody's impressed with me, and then nothing is working out. Impressed with me through the phone. I haven't met them in person, you know? And I'm just, I'm trying to have this meeting, and it's, this guy is not answering after he was so impressed with me over the phone. So what's going on? Okay. I want to um, get, get the root of the matter, you know? Yeah. Regarding the not answering the phone, it's trivial. If he made a decision, if they already hired, he would have said no. Right. If he doesn't answer me, it means they have someone who they are liking other than you, and they develop the relationship, the affair, the interviews, the offers, so they 
uncertain. If things change, they either come back to you or positively or negatively. The, the fact that they are not answering meaning is meaning they are developing other candidate or more. Now, and you cannot do much here other than checking once in a while. Once in two weeks is appropriate. Uh, okay. Kindly and politely just saying, hi, I'm checking again. That's it. Not, nothing wrong with checking. It's persistence. This it's guy, good. he gave me good, high, high hopes and he said, listen, even if it's not working in our company, I'm going to make sure that you're going to be hired in one of the branches that we've got, the other co-companies. Co it's a big company. It's a huge one. Ah. Um, and uh, ah. uh, it's owned by a prince, you know. So okay. he has a, he has a branches like it's a big branches of companies, you know. Sounds interesting. Uh, Why is he not following again? Something is happening. You know? True. This is this is what yeah. me crazy. There's something fishy. Hmm. If they would find something negative about you, they would they would just simply say no. If they are silent, there is something else happening. Maybe some change within the structure, and that's what they do. They just don't answer. When they have more certainty, they might answer again. But you have to keep knocking. Once in two weeks is appropriate. Okay. So at the yeah. end of this week, this month, I'll, sh I'll shall call again. Whatever way you're doing, yeah. Email or phone, whatever is the appropriate way in your situation. But just have a calendar and keep knocking. Don't you? You cannot improve that situation here. Meanwhile. I see your purpose is to find the job. So, meanwhile, develop other lines of search. Mm -hmm. It doesn't hurt to do more than one. You think positively about them. Don't focus on on bad things. Mm -hmm. I don't sense here third dimensional conspiracy no I, I don't oh, okay. I think it these people who are in hiring positions sometimes they're trustworthy but more often than that they are mm, are very flexible and not standing by what they say they are reporting to their bosses and not to you so they might say they might distort the reality substantially when they speak to you so that's you're not you wouldn't be working for them right you would be working for others they are just hiring people right 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 so treat them as human resources people exactly. nicely and with confidence, positive, uh, peaceful confidence. You have to understand that their job to be distorting things a bit, to attract good candidates so they tell everyone good things so they get more applications and then they pick and choose. So their goal is for you to stay on the hook as long as possible. Okay. So that's why they promise more than they should. Yeah. Because then they can choose. If someone finds another job, their favorite applicants finds another job and falls off the hook, then you are still on the hook so they can grab you. Mm -hmm. But you play, when you understand, you just play play better. You have to work on parallel lines of applications. So you have a single specialty, right? You are into 
Uh, can you say what's your specialty? I don't want to pronounce instead of you. My specialty? Uh, yeah. I was in banking. If you wish to. I was in banking. Yes. I was in banking. Yeah. And, uh, the other alternative I have in, in my mind, I was thinking sometime back to work in 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 the media. But uh, ah. but uh, the other the, the good place is to be moved from, from where I am to I'm from the Arabia from Arabia. So I wanted to move to Dubai. Dubai is a better place to work. But I was thinking about my mom, how can I leave her, you know, at this moment? I cannot leave her because she I need to support her to support her, I you know. know. Yes. And yeah. uh, in our country you whatever if, if you close to attached you're only two, my brother and I. So uh, you are attached to your mother, you know, you cannot leave I her understand. like of the Western world, you know. Yes, you're doing that mostly to support your mother. You want financial stability to support her. So it doesn't yeah. make sense to go away because you wouldn't be able to help her physically and emotionally, True. right? Exactly. Even if I get married, you know, I'm going to take her along with me. She won't go along to my brother's place, you know? I and, uh, see. They, this is how it is, you know? I understand. So uh, the media fits more to me. Uh, it has an appeal to me. And I feel myself everywhere I go, by the way, Max and uh, your name again. I keep on losing your name. Uh, what happens is people say you you look like an anchor woman. You have this presentation. You know, the way you present yourself. People keep on telling me that. You know, I have this appeal. Right. Right. You shine and you have confidence. You are not afraid to speak. So I guess you have to one thing which might be blocking you. You are thinking about choosing between your light worker path and the path of service as a third dimensional mainstream worker, like light worker versus light worker versus mainstream worker, right? Mm -hmm. Is it a challenge for you? No, uh, I, I believe nowadays as the, the, the mass consciousness is becoming more awakened and in, inside us we are, we are we are light workers at the different levels, you know? So yes, yes. I want to bring this light working into the media. You know, the media is quite corrupted. We need to bring this light working stuff into the media itself. So the mass consciousness will know eventually that we are in one level. We are one, but they're not getting it. The media is corrupted. So if the media is corrupted, how would you be able to work? In the media. You have to uh, develop some programs, you know, to insert this your ideas into it, you know. Ah, it's you like, would you, be it's like a, a hidden agent. Yes, you know, you know, who is secretly, secretly inserting your secret light worker messages into their messages. Remember, Oprah, Oprah had that in her. We believe that she is different, you know, and everybody loved her like hell, you know. But uh, and she used to have it. We believe that. See? So it's in oh, you have a role model. Yeah, of course, she's the role of yes. all anchor women and all her men also. Ah. So how do you grow your network in that direction? How do I grow it? I want to network, a... networking, finding acquaintances oh, who applying. might introduce you to someone who is hiring. And the media, I did, a, I did that part. I already applied. You know, this company I told you about, it had a branch, but the people are corrupted on on the on that level. They are really corrupted. You know, when they look at you, they wanna use you as a woman. You know what I mean? They have this intention. It's quite bad. Not only one that, that area, I also tried in that another area. Oh my God, the people they see a beautiful woman, they just go, they want to just want to use her. How awful they are! You think How? They keep, yes. You know what I mean? Let me ask you. 
yeah. if you do your research, how in your area of search, how many people of your rank find the job through their network, through recommendation of someone who you know and who they know, versus how many people find the job through applying without a linkage, without personal introduction? What's the ratio? Uh, through uh, word of mouth, of course, is much better. Uh, they say through connections is better than applying through the uh, the network. You know why? Because the the yeah. salary will be different. I would say my estimate would be that ninety five percent of your level of your rank find through connections. True. They still apply, but. But they apply after they find that there is a connection. True. So, are you following that path? Um, yesterday, when I was thinking about the whole matter, I was thinking about my ex boss, and I was thinking that he could have connections because he does. Ah. A and uh, and also the the old company, which is also the head company of this company that I'm telling you ah. about, that the reason when I'm applying. Some, someone came in my mind and I was thinking to call him if he had the same number. So I sent him a message, is this your number? And he did not answer. I don't know, he, uh, he's, he was an old guy, but I don't know if he's still alive or he's still on earth or he left it. So this idea came up to me, I need, I need them, you know, he has to answer me back. See? Everything goes through connection. I see. Uh, is in your country is LinkedIn popular or, or maybe what's that? not? What's is LinkedIn? It? What's LinkedIn? Oh, uh, that's a Western network and internet site which links professionals ah. of of business level. Ah, where no. you, everyone who you ever worked with you connect to them and then you use them to find references. Oh. I am not sure if in your area that is not common. There's so many websites to uh, help you there's so many websites to find your job but they're so slow and they're so um, it's kind of uh, a lost, right. a lost yeah. uh, web, you know? Yeah. Let me ask you another question. It's also very important. How much time do you spend on the phone growing your network? Mm. Oh, no. no. You, I don't do that. Your, it, it should be your job if you have time. And I sense, I, I heard you have time. Yeah. I would spend as much as you could, maybe hours and hours and hours just making the plan. Be your own boss. Make a plan, and sometimes it helps to write it down because then, then you can just check mark, and that gives you a sense of following forward, of making progress. And really, it's depressing to be your own boss, but on the other hand, it's very rewarding to be your own boss. So make a plan and grow your network. And chat you, when you talk to people chat about what is important to them and maybe even make your goal in the first conversation not even mentioning their the need for a job just make friends acquaintances uh, as you speak to me make acquaintances to others and talk about what worries them what do they like and just say you want to be connected to them and then they would sense that he, you need something they will ask and then you might uh, share yeah, be friends. that sort of thing okay yes. yeah f the goal is to grow the network the reason you want to talk to them is to connect to grow your network when you have a network of the size of over a hundred people in your professional area then it will just happen by itself. It just happens like that. They know you're looking, and they make you a favor, and then they make 
someone else the favor because they introduced them a good worker. That's how it works. Now, you, you, I'm, I'm sure you have relatives. Yeah. Uh, how often do you call them? Uh, there's a big difference in the mentality-wise. Look, I'm an Arab member, and our mentalities are different than the Westerns. My brought yes. up was in a different in a in, in the Western schools, you know, because my oh. dad was a diplomat. But this is why my mentality is different than the other part of my family. You get this. So the, you, see, you don't know, speak to them uh, uh, regarding this issue. This thing, this. They see I'm too open. I'm, they find me too open from them. You know what I mean? So too, the, uh, not the I, same I, level. I need to understand. Are you in uh, speaking conversations to them, or you're uh, silent with them? Uh, I'm friendly with them, but we're not in a, in a closer relationship. Hello, how are you? I see them in occasions, things like that, but we're not in a close term because they see me outrageous. You know what I mean? They see oh, me so they become angry. Yeah. Yeah. They see me as a Westerner, not like an like like oh, this type. Oh, they you make them angry. Hmm. Everything makes them angry. The way I look, the way I dress, the way uh, I present. Even if you if you speak on the phone, they will still be angry. No, they th I know how they are. I know how they are. You know. Now. Because when I see them, they they look at me in a in a jealousy way. They don't look at me as a friendly way, a relative. Like, I'll tell you a, a small incident. A cousin of mine, she's a doctor. She came to me when I was at the job at that time, and then in the bank, and she said, "How come you have a salary as good as I do?" I see. You know, because she's a doctor, and I'm a banker. Uh, you know? And you don't speak see? anymore with her. Hello and how are you and uh, hi and bye and that's it because if she's my cousin she should oh. be in love with me and I love her and because we're as humanity and wish me good to will and I wish her all the best they're not on that term it's, oh. how come the jealousy is there you know all right here is my my suggestion forgive her for whatever she is feeling and yeah. keep calling her every second week just to say hi Doctors are amazingly connected. They are hubs of connections. Through them, hundreds of people come. They know everybody. People do favors to them, and doctors have their own network. Closed network. Yeah. Uh, when you come to the hospital, first thing they check out. If you are a doctor or you are a close relative of a doctor, and if you are, they treat you differently. Right, they got it. So try to find a way to connect to her and calculate how many others are accessible because if you don't take offense, if you swallow the offense and digest it and transform it in absolutely positive relations, positive attitude. They sense that you forgot. Okay, many people offend you intentionally and if you forgot, forgave them, then you might become a tested relative who they trust more. If you don't hide it, they test it. They check it out. If you are so nice that you take don't take offense anymore, then you might gain a friend. And you need friends. You are lonely in your area of search of jobs. So you need to grow your network. And especially in your culture, relatives, even if they hate you, they still might help you. Hating and helping goes together, strangely. Yeah. You know, I explained to you what you already know, but I'm, I guess that could be even a lesson which you're supposed to learn. Yeah. Right. right. 
how to forgive people who are continue to judge you but if you shine with light and you are not offended at all if you're just nice and wish well to them yeah, yeah, yeah. they finally can overlook your looks yes, yes, yes. I get you yeah. uh, I've already done this healing uh, forgiveness the forgiving healing process because I was I told you when I resigned from the bank I had some grudges from certain people that used to do some conspiracy theories you know and I know them from their faces every time even when I heard their names they used to be grudged you know go like that and then now when I hear their names it's normal you know because I did I, got, I did go through this process of healing myself through giving forgiving what they were used to do so now it's okay. So I'm go I've gone a long way, you know. Now, next question. Third question, which is key here too. How low in salary can you go? Oh. How low in social status can you go? What kind of job would uh, make you happy? No, the, low, the low part doesn't appeal to me because I'm not used to it. I know it right. sounds weird for the Western side. The lowest one is too low as uh, one thousand at your end. No, yeah, a thousand, one thousand US dollars is quite low over here. You know, because I used to go, I was up to three thousand. You know what I mean? Three thousand US dollars down to one thousand is quite low. See? Ah, uh, yes, I. I understand. I mm. understand. That's just a question which you have to decide for yourself. The, the lowest part is available. It's quite available. It's quite, you know, like a saleswoman any in anywhere, which is nothing. It's not my fantasy, you know. Because you fell out of the flow. You fell out of. You Passion. fell out of the river yeah. of wealth. You are not there anymore. Yeah, so, you're not there. So to get back, to get into the vibration, your vibration is so different. When you come close, a uh, supernatural repulsion happens. You get re repulsed, pushed away. It's so to get back into that vibe and integrate into that vibe, it might help to you to even work for a period of time at a lower salary I guess. level and at lower rank just to get back to the system and as you get back to the system you grew so much more you are so much more forgiven there is so much more light you understand their essence of experience so much more that you will grow faster but the first step might be to accept something uh, somewhat lower than you expected before. Just step a little bit down. It might harm your resume, but it will bring you back to the flow. That that is a, just a suggestion. Uh, you have to judge how much because you have to judge how much lower you can go. Because if you are unhappy the job, then you would get poor references later. You want to grow, not to be fired, right? Uh, uh, you know how it feels when you're working in a place you don't like? This is what you're giving me. This is how yeah. I'm taking it. It's not my passion. It's not. There's no light there, you know? It's just like routine, nothing special. A saleswoman or sales manager is what uh, is available, which is a... You can get it like a blink, you know, this kind of job, you know? How about local radios? The ones which you just he hear on 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 your radio. Can you just uh, get there? I was thinking, uh, you know something. I got this idea, but I don't know how to approach them because uh, I don't know. How, I don't have access. You know. Just knock on the door. I don't know where they are. Uh, I'm trying to find the spot because the ones who come on uh, the radio, the ones who spell talks English, their English is lousy. They do not say any uh, proper words. You know, the English is crooked. So, so I have a good chance, but I don't know how to approach them. You know something? I was thinking about that. Just knock uh, on the door and say hi. I want to know where the door is. <laughs> I don't know uh, where the door. Is. 
you local know? telephone book should be because they advertise. They have a door for advertisers. It could be in the same room. There could be two rooms nearby because they advertise. They have the address and telephone number for advertisers. Call them and ask them if you can meet someone who might be interested in your resume uh -huh. and um, see what they say. Yeah. I mean, it is so easy and it doesn't hurt. You offer them a valuable service. So you're not asking, you are offering, right? It's, there is nothing shameful in offering. Mm. Yes. Yeah, this thing uh, hit my mind, but uh, I was thinking about it and I don't know where to go, you know? Or I'm trying to approach it through the net now. Let me see. I'll go through the net and see if there's a way, you know? Yes. Because the English is uh, kind of amazing, you know? You should go surprised, you know? God. First time you get to that situation, you might not behave perfectly because you don't understand. But if there is more than one station, start with the one which you like class and get your first try, first experience, and then plan to go to the next and to the next. And when you do that third time, you yeah. will understand everything perfectly You're right. and perform to your best. Yeah. So it has to begin. Um, your offering, there is nothing wrong in coming and offering. I get you. And as you grow your it's experience, you might even say, I have been talking to this one and to this one. And they say, oh, our competitors spoke to you. Ah. Oh. Uh-huh. Right. This, yeah. this, so, this, what you said, this idea did resonate with me much more than the saleswoman. You know? The woman is something very low. This one does resonate with me. It does uh, have a light in my, in my heart. So, it makes oh, sense. Nice. Okay then. Light from my heart to light of your heart. Yes, what I need from you is can you direct me uh, energetically where to go, like uh, like an angel, you know, uh, probably where to go, the right to go to the right place, the right time, things like that. Do you have any? Can you be my guide in this sense? It would be my pleasure. Great. Because let you me, see better. Let you me see give better. you some. Symbol. Okay, great. Mm. Oh, here you go. Mm. When you make a choice, make it a choice of two or three things. If it is more than things, you just bundle them together. Make them three, two or three things. Easiest would be two that or that mm -hmm. and then separate them to right and left and then place your hand like this can you see me yeah yes like this mm -hmm. and sense the first thing just sense it like you're sensing and then sense you. the second thing very like physically you. with your hand with your palm I and get then you. sense again, and sense again, and then you will have a sensation. Like Reiki, I know what you mean. I have to, I yeah. know this. Yeah, yeah, I do Reiki myself. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes good so idea. So sense the energy of the thing. When you do it with your hands, and that would be natural, mm -hmm. I will help you here. Okay. Yes. Great, thank you very much. I don't want to take time from the other... Uh, oh, we have more. The, uh, Hi. Yes, on the chat. Matt. Thank you, and thank you very much. Yes, thank you. Thank you for uh, waiting. Good luck. Merci beaucoup. It is, uh, oh, I need to finish the thing in just a second. That would be, uh, maybe it is just a phase. A phase where you are supposed to learn something and grow and go to the next step. Don't worry about absolute amount of money. It is more about your relationship with yourself, with your close mother and your path in life. Mm -hmm. Take it easy. Just 
do your job. Now your job is to grow your network and offer people your service. It is and find best what you can. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. It, 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 it did uplift me, really. Thank you very much. I need that, oh, that talk. Thank, thank you me. for giving me a chance to be of service. Well, I appreciate it. And I love you so much. And I love you, sir. Much love and good luck. Yeah. Yes. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Oh, merci beaucoup. It's French. <laughs> I don't know. Max knows only two Few words. words. French. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Now I'm ready. Uh, can I Milkina. ask your name? Oh, Milkina. Milkina. Melkina. Melkina. I am a young Luran. We live long, so I might be older than you, but I'm relatively young. Ah, uh, do um, do I resonate with you at all? Oh, of course, you resonate just perfectly well. <laughs> but give me your name. I will. Is it Matt? Yes, it's Matt. But ah, I'm... Matt. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Oh, yours. Your energy is. Mm. Bright and forth, go, forward going, forward going. Yes, thank you. Yeah, happy energy. Um, my question was kind of uh, about family and uh, the Lyran. Ah, please expand. Um. I'm interested in knowing my uh, star family. What what is Attracting you to play this. What do you think of play this? They were in my room last night. Ah. I what was. Do pitch yes. Yeah, it was pitch dark and it was a white, round light. And there's also one on my ceiling um, that shows up. You know. It actually. Uh, that's another uh, question I wanted to ask you. Is other than Rut Rikosh that we got from Takur. What are some words that I can use to help heal um, the withdrawal I'm going through? Uh, you're breaking up to heal what? I'm going through a withdrawal right now. I was wondering what's what would be best for that. Ah, uh, withdrawal of what? A uh, medicine that they think is good for you, but really it's it's just a trap. Chemical. Oh, Chemical you are on antidepressants? Can you say that again? Were you on antidepressants? Not antidepressants, but it was more of an opiate, I should say. Ah. All right. Um... Withdrawal. Ah. Many ways can be used to cope with withdrawal. 
uh, opiates you said, right? Yeah. They are not as addictive as other things because you can think straight and understand. You're craving, but you still can think. Uh, other things like nicotine trick you into thinking it's good for you. Opioids don't trick you into thinking that it's good for you. It's just you crave it without, but your mind is clear. You know that it was just fun, but you can get over. So, um, you might try to generate endogenous opioids by physical activity. How do you feel about physical activities? Oh, it's definitely one of the hardest, hardest. Ah, hardest for you. Really? Yes. Tell me more. Um, it's more just what it is right now, the medicine that I'm on. It works great, but it's more my lower back that hurts. So I tried rut recosh, rut recosh, rut recosh three times. And it usually lightens it up, but it always comes back in the end. Lower back, you didn't mention it. It's important. So what's what's up with your lower back? Uh, you know, it's just it's a, a lower back pain. How bad is the status of your joints there? Is it damaged or it is just pain? It is just pain. Oh, good. I see. Because if it's damaged in that young age, that would be a pity. Uh, the modern human medicine doesn't hasn't ways ha, doesn't have ways to regrow cartilage. But learn the basic. Go to Wikipedia and YouTube and learn the basic. You have good mind. You should be able to learn the basics of lower back arthritis. You have to understand cartilage, bone, nerves, nerves, and immune inflammation, immunity inflammation. These are components. You have to understand what's happening there. And you don't want to hurt yourself more. Because if you don't feel pain and you hurt yourself more, you get worse. Right now it's reversible, but you don't want it to get irreversibly damaged. All right, with that, what is spiritual meaning of lower back pain? That's Symbolic. A good yeah. Mm. <sighs> Usually it has karmic karmic meaning. Where you're carrying a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. I could say that. Yes or no, I didn't hear that, I'm sorry. Yes, I could say that. Ah. Is it because your misjudgment? Is it possible to delegate some of responsibility to others? Mm. That's a good question. Yeah, that is my number one prescription for lower back pain. Delegate. Okay. I will write it for you. Delegate. Delegate. As you get better, you can take it back. But for now, if you have lower back pain, delegate your responsibilities. The heaviest ones. Keep the good ones. Right. Yes, and I did want to ask, I'm sorry, I asked you another question like right in the middle, but just a little about my uh, Lyran uh, seated family of uh, 
You certainly had some good iron past lives. Genetically, all humans carry iron DNA. I don't sense recent infusion of iron DNA in your bloodline, like mother, father, grandmother, grandfather. I don't sense Lirans being there present. Mm -hmm. Pleiadians, yes. Lirans, I don't sense that. But everyone carries Liran, Liran, Liran DNA. Every human. But past lives, yes. Now, if you are in alignment with Liran idea, you always are welcome to invite some fresh infusion right into your cells, your body, to get more of Liran I would definitely, cells. I would be interested in that. I'm passing this along. Waba. Thank you. Um, I passed it along. All right. So. Yes, I sense again the channel is very mixed here. So the information comes as as there is no warranty. <laughs> it is mixed. But yes, what I can pass through is Pleiadian, yes. Syrian energy, I sense. Again, it looks like it is more of past life Syrian energy. There is no recent Syrian infusions into humans. But yes, Syrian energy, yes. And Arcturian energy as well. Not DNA, but energy vibration, yes. So we have the whole spectrum of nice, nice, uh, friendly, synergistic vibes. Um, how do you feel about your life on Earth? Doesn't feel does it feel easy to you in general? You know that is a great question. I really want to say I appreciate you asking me. And. Um, my life has taken a turn for the best. I I uh, I'm more in my power than ever, and um, I, I can't wait till I get off of this uh, stuff, and, and then I can actually um, somewhat start new. So it's a great feeling, yes. Ah, uh, how easy are tasks for you? Like, do you? communicate with humans easily? Do you socialize easily? It's one of my favorite uh, pastimes, but um, before, whenever I was on the medicine, it really stopped me from being myself. So uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, experiencing that again. All right. So just from these answers, it looks like you had plenty of past lives on Earth as well. So don't feel like you are not from Earth. You have everything, alien vibes and Earth experience. That's a nice situation to be in. That is great because I've uh, since today, that's, that's the first I've heard of it. Everyone tells me that it's my first time on Earth. Ah. And I've been People doing... People who are first time on Earth have trouble communicating to Earthans. They usually are autistic. You don't seem to be autistic at all. Mm. That's my... Again, question. It is just judgment. It's not any seen through. It's just con logical conclusion from uh, what I ask and then from what you answered. 
correct. Thank you. Yes. That's a good clarification. You wanted to say something. Hello, Malkina. This is Bijan. Um, ah. Question. Uh, what about being shy from like a young age? What's that all about? Good. So I wanted to continue with Matt about his bag, but oh, let's ahead. switch the topic about being shy and and then we come back later, no problem. Shy from young age. <sighs> shy. Interesting. Like now, what kind of shy is that? When I was younger I was just shy. I didn't I couldn't form the words to talk to people. And now I still feel that shyness, but just my drive overcomes that. So I'm able to speak over my fears. And I think it's more of a sensitivity to to feeling. <sighs> Yeah, there are many causes of shyness in humans, yes. Interesting. Let's analyze. I enjoy. Mm. Now, was it easier for you to speak to young people, to younger children, or to older people? Yes, absolutely. I ask younger or older, which ones? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, younger. Younger was easier. Hmm. Were you raised in certain religions, background, religious culture? No. Aha. Uh -huh. And your accent seems to be American, yes. right? Yeah. Hmm. What is your um, month and day of birth? April 11th, 1990. Ah. Yeah. Interesting. Shyness. How do you explain, how do yourself explain your shyness? Why are you still feeling shy? Yeah, I feel it just as much as I did as when I was a kid, but now I'm just able to not focus on it. Like, I still feel, I feel like it's, for me, I've explained it as uh, just a, a hypersensitivity to, like, feelings. <sighs> okay, so sensitivity, yes. So, are you empathic? Do you feel emotions of others? Yes. I, sometimes I feel my uh, roommate's depression from through the walls. Ah, I understand. Ah. It's all good stuff, though. <laughs> so, good stuff is what? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I meant that, my, I'm sorry. Disregard that. I'm confused, but that's all right. I see. Shyness. Yeah. There is something in design of your soul, something in design of your energies. You are more open, yes. So. Do you know why that is? It sounds very unusual for the Aries, if I'm correct. Aries, April 11 would be Aries, right? I think so. I'm yeah. Not sure. Usually, Aries are 
thick skin, they don't care, they take it easy, very easy. No, they take criticism or any energies from outside very easy. And so being April 11 and feeling shy is somewhat unusual. Yeah, I'm I, like the opposite. I care too much. Uh, so it is important for you how other people perceive you. How would they judge you if they like you or not? No, it's important to me if other people are other people are happy. Ah, oh, satisfying everyone, right? In a, in a manner of speaking. Yes. And what is the fear which makes you shy? You are afraid of not being liked, right? I'm not sure. That's where it gets hard to conceptualize. Let me think for a second. Could you repeat your question? What When you are shy, what is your fear? Are you afraid that if you say something incorrectly, you will not be liked by others? I think that might be it on a deep level, but I, I can't, I'm not sure though. How is everything else in your life? Do you feel comfortable living on Earth? Yeah, 90% 90, 90 of the time I do. Um, and then there's those 10% of the times where I've been awake too long or I have been awake too long and overthinking things that I feel kind of trapped in 3D. But most of it's amazing. Are you practical? Do you feel like you're, you have enough past life experiences to be comfortable in practical matters. Yes, absolutely. Ah. I guess it is the design of your soul. There is nothing to explain. That's how I you agree. are designed. To be open and to be focused on making others happy and their energies overwhelm your energies sometimes it's more like how do you want to cope with that if it is a design by design maybe your lesson here is how to overcome that shyness and just get used to the energies around. Keep in mind, now the age is different. Their number of people on Earth is many folds more than in your past lives. Many fold. Many, many folds. Thousand years ago, there are a few millions of people here. Now it's billions. Wow. So you were in you were bathing, bathing in different energies at this past life. So now the energies are quite different. So you get you need to get used to that. Thank you for your discussion, Melkina. Yes. The goal, the purpose should be first. Why do you need to be less shy? You have to understand that. You have to formalize. If it's really what bothers you, maybe it's okay to be shy. Yeah, people I'm like not... shy people, actually. People li do like shy people. It's rare to meet shy people, actually. If you meet... If someone meets a shy person, they trust them a little more. Because if the person is weak um, spirited or weak, how they say, has a gentle character, it's um, 
more understandable and people like that. Maybe it's a self-protection mechanism. <laughs> I like that. What usually, what do shy people do to become less shy? They get practice controlling their energies. Exactly. Tai Chi. Have you tried Tai Chi? No, no, I haven't. Uh, the only energy work I do is I just use my mind's eye and go through my body, my energy body. Yes. Check out Tai Chi. Even YouTube just watch short form of Tai Chi. It is the art where you move your energies around. Your energies and outside energies. You just use your hands and the body to move the energies around. Oh, wait a minute. I do do that. I just don't call it that. <laughs> ah, check out Tai Chi. That is um, a short form which is easy to learn. Now, what happens when a strong-willed character, strong-willed, and gentle one like you meet, their energies just suck your energy out, and that's why you feel shy. Your energy just, you give it away, and you get low on energy. Unless you assert your dominance with your energy, then you're able to maintain yours. Right. So there are many ways to cope with that. One way is to establish a two-way connection. You give, but you take. And you can manipulate it in a conscious manner. Don't give too much and take as much as you need, that sort of thing. Again, the purpose here is important. And the idea of being of service to the person you're communicating with might, might help. So you want to help them and then establish a proper energy flow to better help them. Yes, that's the thing I love about living uh, in today's energies is you can just send people who, anyone who may be negative or not, you can just send them love right as you walk in the room and it changes them and you can watch it before your very eyes. Another thing you might work on is when you take somebody's negative energy, you might learn how to transform it. How not to take it on your body negatively, but how to transform it and process it in a positive way. That's You bring up something interesting because a lot of times humans, when they get um, something bad happen to them, something negative, I mean, that may be a bit traumatic, it takes them like maybe a day to go to sleep to forget it. That's right. Yeah. So the simplest thing is just take as much as you can, not more, as you comfortably can. Take as much negative energy as you comfortably can. And close your, politely and gently, close your gate when you cannot take more. Carry it with you and do a meditation when you clear it out before you take more onto yourself. Where do we want to go from here? Does anyone have any questions? Let me see. Hello, everybody. Matt, yes. are you there? I'm here. All right, lower back. Yes, I was wondering, are there any uh, words like Rajrikash? Anything like that would just lighten up the pain? I wish I was Grindel, but um, ah, let me think. Mm. 
All right. First magic mantra. Magic mantra is easy now. Yes, easy now. All right. Thank you. Okay. Second is a little more sophisticated. Talk to your lower back spine, lower spine, and say, I love you. I love you. Yes. Third exercise. You can do it with moving hands, or you can do it in your mind. You breathe in and move your hands up. It comes from, all right, it is present on earth in many traditions, including Qigong tradition. You move hands up, grabbing the energy, which comes from above and flows to the bottom. And as you exhale, you move hands down. And as I do that in this body, I feel goosebumps, which is nice. And you breathe in again, grab more energy, and moves down, move down, while you exhale. Do it slowly and with comfortable pace. And then as you do that, imagine the energy focusing in your lower back and inflating with it, it with golden light. Golden light, yes. You grab the golden light and just inflate your lower back so it becomes warm and inflated. You can do it with moving hands in any position, sitting, standing, laying down, even if you're in any position. Or you can do it just in your mind. Breathe in and send the energy in your area of pain and focus on it until the pain dissolves. It should dissolve in a few minute, minutes. Now, uh, Matt, how about Reiki? Have you received Reiki here? In I have not. Um, that's something I would definitely be interested in doing, though. Do you have money to pay for Reiki healing? It's about $60 a session. Uh, not right now. Not money I can put into that right now. All right. Um... Are you in a uh, populated, living in populated, in a populated area? Um, not a big city, no. It's more of the country. Ah. Hmm. All right. Um, still Google and see what's happening around. Sometimes you can find Reiki groups and join them for free. Mm. In uh, bigger cities, you are guaranteed to find Reiki groups by searching meetup.com. Yes, meetup, meetup.com. Search for Reiki Share and you will find it. In rural areas, it's harder, but see what's available. Sometimes there are events where you can get it almost for free or you can barter your help for a Reiki. You might do other services to Reiki practitioners. Become friends with them and figure out what they need. It's possible they're very open to ideas of sharing and exchange. That would be great. Yes. Now, also keep in mind there is 
Ayurveda herbalist, Ayurveda herbs, which are very helpful for back pain. Very helpful. They do great help. You, <coughs> uh, you would need a face-to-face a, a, -face, a Ayurvedic consultation to get a personalized prescription. I see. Now, if you do have medical insurance, do you? Not anymore. Ah, that is unfortunate. Work on getting one. I don't know how, but get one back. When you get back your insurance, many insurances cover chiropractors. Look for one with cold laser, infrared cold laser. That is a great help too. The laser interacts directly with etheric energy. All right, indirectly with etheric energy and improves healing radically. Yes. Hmm. All right, now let's everybody do a little meditation and send some energy to Matt's. Uh, place of lower back which needs to be healed. Okay. Who <sighs> about <sighs> All right. Let's continue the conversation. I have another fifteen twenty minutes. Anyone have any questions? Hmm. Okay. Um. I was wondering if they had something that. Oh yeah, it looks like we have a new member. On. Oh, he said. Oh um, no. Said no. Um. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I need to say something. Hello. I barely hear you. I know. I'll put it back. I'm putting this back. Hold on a second. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. Hold on. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Uh, Malika, Malki, Malkina. You know, guess what? While I were you talking to those, uh, to the to the group, I got this message from the guy that I, I messaged earlier, and he's in he's in, in the USA right now, New in Los Angeles. And I'm contacting him, and he's, he's he's answering me back. I need you to put some energy into that thing, you know, because he's the guy who's associated with the prince, you know. So this time I hope I'm putting my fingers crossed and you know, this time will work out. See? I hear you the positive you. message, but because of the quality of connection, I lost part of it. Um, did uh, anybody with again. a good connection understand the first part? What was the message? She um, it wants us to put some positive intention and energy behind the um, perspective job. Because oh, did so you say you just talked to the guy or, or? Yeah, I got the message from him SMS. I got an SMS, and he's the guy I met long time ago, and uh -huh. he's uh, wait, he's associated with the prince, and he said uh, because I I texted him yesterday, and he answering me back right now because he's in USA, and he goes uh, and he's he's answering him back. I'm telling him you associated with this company. He, he has connections, of course. So this is a connecting work. 
Your oh, energy, oh. Malkina. <laughs> oh, my pleasure. Merci. Oh, please tap on yeah. it, please. Keep your balance. It I takes am. time and work. Just, just work it through. It's just uh, determination and working, expanding your networking. And uh, let's see what happens. I wish you best luck in exploring. It's your energy. Expanding. Thank you for uplifting me. I was in a bad, in a worse situation when I came in. Thank you very much. Well, my pleasure. I adore you. It's my a pleasure goodness. to be of service. Merci, merci beaucoup. I love you. Thank you. Do you want to bring anyone else? I can um, call for Grindel or Ro Rojo. Thank you, Melkina. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. All right. Hello, everyone. Hello. What's up here? I had an opportunity to stop for a second. Is that Grendel? Yeah, whatever is left of him. <laughs> Max is changing me. It's more like uh, Max's version of Grindel, but in any way. It works. It's a pleasure to be here anyway. It's a pleasure to have you. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice to be in your presence. <laughs> I would like to help you in any way. Yes, um, good um, luck and best best of luck to you, Noha. And yeah, the back pain. Yeah, I got heard all of that. How are things going for you? I'm fine. Enjoying channeling. I'm popular these days. Not that I wasn't popular before, but it's nice to be useful in all in my old age. Nice to be needed. Any more questions you wanted to ask? Bring up more. Can I ask a question about dreams? Oh, interesting. Hmm. All right, let's try. I always have, have a, or like these dreams where uh, I'll be in some variation of a plane and I'll be going on some trip and it, just, it looks like a passenger plane and it's different planes throughout different dreams throughout my life. I was just wondering if, if that had a reason. You know? So you were on a plane like a passenger? Yeah, recently I was on an airliner in my dreams that went down and like I it was horrifying but not it's not always like that usually it's just peaceful or just flying I don't know I know dreams are um what's the word Yeah. I guess dreams are not my strong point. They're yeah, they're abstract. Yeah, dreams, yeah humans are often dreaming about flying. Uh, you know, we reptilians are close relatives to birds and birds are flying. I'm not even dreaming about flying. But if I wish to, I could fly. Not that it is. I wanted to, but I could. Yeah, dreams are abstract, and it's all up to interpretation, so it's okay. Yeah. Why would you fall down? 
I feel like I feel like it's some kind of transition that it's just a metaphor in my head for what's really happening. I'll find out one day. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're fine. Let's do something simpler. Agreed. Anything else? Noha, did you have a, any questions? So, but I'm talking to Bijan, right? Bijan, yes. No, actually, I was texting. That's why I was busy with this thing. Thank you for coming in, Grendel. Aha. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. I'm calling you. You know that? You heard my messages when I was calling you? Ah. Uh. Uh, that was your calling. I see now. Oh, come on. You're not getting it. <laughs> oh, my God. My telepathy is not working. <laughs> oh, God. See? Now, every time when I feel the static energy and things that are working out, I go, Grendel, help me. I need you there. <laughs> ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. but did it help? Well, uh, just right now I was texting the guy that I spoke yesterday and then I spoke to Malkina right now and I asked for the energy to be resolved and things like that. And then right now the guy texts me back and he's connecting with me from Los Angeles, from the, from the yeah, big company, exactly. from the, the mother company. And this is a branch company from, of their own, you see? Right. Breathe deep. Yes. Keep your balance. Absorb it. Absorb it. Yeah. I'm there. Good. What else is happening? Bijan, tell me more. Ah, so. Mm, what about the? What's your highest excitement? My highest excitement uh, is yeah. creative communication. Or communication. Uh, yeah, yeah. So shyness and communication. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Tell me more. How do you creatively communicate? I try to find ways of saying things to people that are not only interesting, but straight to the point. And. Does it work? Yeah, it, w it always teaches me something about the person and about ah. myself. So in that sense, it works. Because I don't know if not everyone likes to get straight to the point. Yeah, that's the problem. A lot of people beat around the bush, and that's why I just usually get straight to the point. Ah. That would be unusual. Why would you do so? Is it most effective? I just I get tired of being fake. I don't like being fake, so I just uh, say what I'm really feeling, and if they don't like it, then I'll just never I see them again. Right. <laughs> Interesting. I heard it before. So you are trying to be yourself in the most purified form, and you call it creative communication, but you really... Ah, yeah. Interesting. You, you understand, right? Yes. Are you into service to others or into bothering others? <laughs> bothering? Yeah. Uh, service. Well, it depends on the person. <laughs> usually uh -huh. it's service. I'm, usually I try to put myself in... <clears throat> I, I, try, I see out of the other person's eyes whoever I'm dealing with. Mm. So it helps bring perspective. But... Sometimes you see through someone's eyes and, and still you guys don't see eye to eye and you learn something there too. All right. So the tradition in human society is first to establish trust, to establish a common language. And then when trust and common language are established, you connect to something that matters. 
yes. before establishing trust in common language. Talking about what matters misses the point because there is no common language, common wavelength. It's, it's more offensive than helpful. Oh, I see what you're saying. That's true, and that's why I am usually I'm usually short and to the point with people I don't know, but I try not to do it in a rude way. It depends on the situation, but I see what you're saying. Um, I lost my train of thought. Ah, uh, yeah, there are. It's art. There are people who are really talented in communication. And what they do, they create a spiral of communication where they use some sort of energizing phrases, energizing impulses of energy. And this impulse of energy can be placed as a charge in a phrase. So the phrase doesn't have to carry the information. It could be meaningless, but if you put good energy in it, it lubricates the conversation. So right. there is a lot of unspoken energy in good conversations. True. So when the information is filtered of energy, it could be meaningless. But if you put good energy there, it's like parallel process of telepathy, some sort of telepathy, which goes, goes on delayed with meaningless conversation. So people say, nice to see you, it's a good day, I come here often, and you know, how do you like the weather, and all nonsense, small talk. Meanwhile, they're telepathically connecting. All right, so Yes, filtering out the words mm, loses all of that. So, yeah. with your creative communication, play with it. See what works and how do you spin the conversation so the energy becomes harmonious. And then you can put there the information. And a joke. Joking really helps. If you put a good joke which is elevating that, that helps much. Yeah, I, I, I love uh, communicating. I love being positive, but I do find myself, even in the face of all of that, getting bitter sometimes at humanity because I feel like they're not growing fast enough. Ah. Only sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you would feel that you are not talking to humans at all. These are like <laughs> uh, not in soul beings, like how do you call them? Robots or... I know what you mean. And I don't see myself as, as any better or worse, but just not what I prefer. Ah. Uh, yes. Interesting. Anything else before I go? Thank you for coming. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, everybody, for the opportunity to be in your presence, chat with you. Nice to be with you guys and girls and ladies. And uh, good luck with everything. Very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, good luck to you, Noha. Merci, merci, merci. Well appreciated. My goodness. I mean, you made my yeah. day. You made my Call day. Call to me anytime. Yeah. Even if I don't remember, my energy is still available to you. You can borrow. I'll give you my permission. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah. Grindel. Yeah, just invite Grindel. And um, either Please, me or my yeah. energy yeah. or my friends will be there. Okay. Uh, all right. Um. It did help. It did help. It really changed my mood today. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I have a new person, right? Mm. What was it? Manuel. Manuel. Hi. He typed hello. Ah, Manuel, do you have any questions? Hello. 
Say again, you kind of cut out. Manuel. Uh, uh, no, I don't have questions. All right. Thank you for your presence and thank you for being part of that silently. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you. Goodbye. Much luck and be strong. Be strong in a kind way. Serve you, your others and help this network growing. Connect. Remember your names. Remember not your names. Rem remember the names of people around you. Build your own network of people and chat with them once in a while. Ask them how they are. How uh, offer your perspective. Share what is important to you. Pick the ones which resonate with you and filter the ones out which don't. So. Nowadays, with this electronic means, it is a unique opportunity to, for you to find, to pick from the billions of people the ones which resonate with you. They already came in this circle, so in this circle of people, pick the ones and establish your own direct communications by any of the means, email, Hangout, Skype, phone, SMS, whatever. Connect to them. Make it your new circle. You need to hold hands together to make your small circle, two, three, four people who you chat every day and help each other, support each other. That, that makes the energies go into much tighter vortexes. vortices create this word and support each other. That's my wish and advice and I encourage you to connect to you to each other in this way. Goodbye. Привет, товарищи, как укрываете? Мой голос еще не вернулся. Hello. Hello. Max, Max, when you're channeling, do you see the entities there? No, no, I you don't see them. See, sometimes if I, if I, no, it's more information. Yeah, I am. Uh, I don't know what's happening. It's. I, I feel their energies. Yeah, I just kind of bathe the energies, and uh, I'm playing uh, ball with them. Uh, they need something I offer them and they pick what they like that sort of thing so no I don't have much visuals not much no third eye third eye is not open uh, third. Uh, no. I don't I don't have visuals I I could have visuals in other times but when I channel no I, I'm very visual actually but but when I channel it's not visual it's something else it's informational mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. It's um, you know, whatever I speak, I'm I'm in that flow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's me speaking, and they just kind of pff, speak through me. Yeah. Yeah. I it's really hard to tell when they speak or I speak, but I clearly see the shift of energy between yeah. me or Ro Rohar. Uh, That's why they call it the subtle other. energies. Yeah. Ah. Subtle. How can you differentiate when there's so many entities coming through? How do you know this is Takur, this is Grendel, this is well, Grendel is you know has his personality. Oh, Grendel is so really many, yeah. The other ones, Roho, the new ones, uh, you know? I don't know. Them? I just Ask. first when I started I invited whoever comes and uh, and then uh, they gave their nicknames and then I with Roho I just invite Roho and it comes and it feels familiar. So so yeah, it's it's not like Jim when you know information go comes clearly. It's more like the energy. It's okay. Now it's, I have a question. Uh, yeah. Okay, before before channeling, you had a perspective about channeling. When you had it now, what's the difference? Uh, I'm much more confused than before. 
<laughs> it's fast. I, knew, I thought that uh, it would be just, just speaking can't. through me. I would hear something, and I don't. It's different. I don't no? hear things. Someone it's, has it's... a question for you, Max. Uh, he said, yeah. "Does it like is it okay?" So they, uh, you know how clairvoyance is psychic sight, clear audience, psychic hearing. He's wondering if you hear anything when you're doing it. I guess. No, I hear nothing. When I ask for specific words, they might come or might not, but uh, they don't come audible. I don't hear anything audible. It's more information. So yeah, I I cannot tell the difference if I make it up or they send it. I yeah, can't. my understanding is that all you're doing, like right now, we're just <clears throat> we're only using two strands of DNA. And when you connect to your higher self or channel or whatever, you're doing it through your higher self, but you're connecting to the rest of your DNA. Yeah, and maybe, it's just yeah. how many filters you have and how many belief systems you have that they have to get through and how allowing you are. But you can um, connect more with it. But I think that's how all channeling works is through your higher self and then their higher self connects to that, which uh -huh. higher self is DNA, mm -hmm. the rest of our DNA. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, one thing I was wondering... Why others hear voices and I don't? Maybe because I spread myself so wide that everything which happens is me. And they kind of separate and part of their consciousness is them and part of their consciousness is talking to them and I don't have that separation. I cannot tell when I am talking or them are talking because it's all me the same thing. So. That's my I feel like was. yours is unique and, and everybody is unique the way they perceive and they balance things like I know it sounds like a stock answer but it's kind of true everyone is I'm sorry I keep getting my uh, my thoughts keep getting blanked out tonight it's so weird it hasn't been happening mm. at all today mm. yeah so I'm I'm still learning Still learning, but you know, new new sensations were like in the in the past 24 hours. Something comes to me, and there is a pressure on the ear or goosebumps, and I say, "Oh, hello, I'm busy now," or "Hello, I, you know, what's up?" So I'm kind of s telling them what's happening and uh, that I feel down or something of that sort. That I have ache here and ache there, and and invite help, and um, by the time the channeling comes, I feel elevated. But the past, the rest of the day, these days are really tough on me. Actually, I feel like I feel sick. I feel like oh yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. No, you go ahead. Um, yesterday it was I. The whole day I was like under the spell. Like depression. I, no, it's more like. Completely drunk or something. Hmm. Like I've been really. Re it was very unusual. I was physically okay, but uh, my sense of uh, uh, how do you say? Uh, oh, like vertigo. Orientation, orientation of vertigo was was like completely crazy. And it like when physical. like when you stand up too fast and you get a head rush kind yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't physical. My pressure was fine, and uh, physically I was okay, but but you know it looked like. Yeah, some energy was completely missed. Oh, yeah, balance. Right it's like a balance. The balance isn't there. You know, at times, uh, Max, I feel like there's a, a, a heat in my red, my my right feet. You know, weird. It's just like a, a rush of heat. It's after mm -hmm. I spoke to Kutukur in private, I had this sensation coming to me. The left feet, foot, actually. It goes like a rush. You know, heated. And then I ask for Archangel Michael and uh, mm -hmm. Raphael. I'm connected to angels. I love angels, you know. <laughs> I'm a female. <laughs> you know, it's a different story. Mm -hmm. oh, I remember what Even, I was going to say next. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. So what, what did you find the reason? Why, why was it? My feet? I don't know. It's a, just a rush. A, a, a rush of energy just on the right, right feet. I thought this is, has to do with energetic uh, things. Had to do with the entities or something like that. Uh -huh. Because they to, uh, I've been told that I have eight entities along, along with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and one and um, 
they're most of the, they're quite large in the in massive sizes, you know, because yeah, that guy who who told me this was Steve Rother, if you know him. Say again. Steve Rother. Steve Steve Rother. Steve no. Rother. He can, no. he channels the group. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he said uh, you have large entities, and I go, why is that? He goes because you have a presence. You have you have a job to do with a presence. So I was thinking about you know the media, you know, because in the media you need to, you need a group with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. So after t contacting you guys, uh, I got this rush, the heat rush that comes on my feet at times, you know. And then uh, because I lose balance if I'm standing up, I lose balance. That's all on the spot because oh. one is not functioning right, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's a weird thing. It's a rush of energy. Like I don't know what it is. And guess what? I also they spoke about last time about you get some uh, shoulder pain and elbow pain, things like that on your I do have that. I have a shoulder pain on the right side too. Like a static energy is there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to heal from that too. I, I don't know if uh, is swimming available to you. What is that? Swimming, swimming in the water. Uh, swimming? No. Listen, we're in, in, a, in a, it's quite limited in our area. I used to I swim see. like a fish. I used to swim like a fish, and they closed the club. Can you believe I that? See. It mm -hmm. drives me crazy because I was so healthy and you know into sports, and now I cannot do much except yoga. That's the only thing I can do. I see. It drives me crazy. I don't drive also. This is another really drives you nuts. The, the, all the Gulf countries, they can drive. The ladies can drive. Here we cannot. It drives me nuts. Wow. I just want oh, to Oh, ladies about. cannot allow to drive. Interesting. Really? That's no, silly. it's not. <laughs> it's awful. That's silly. <laughs> it does bug me, you know. I feel like I'm being retarded, you know, in a in a in a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We live. Um, yeah. I can't even take a walk. Yeah. Okay, guess what? I cannot take a walk from my place. Like, I live in a neighborhood. I have a supermarket close to my area. If I want to go and walk, just to walk, any guy will jump into my f in front of my face. You know, out of the blue. That's so stupid. I can never live like that because I'd be punching everybody in the face who disrespected women in front of me. It's true. Yo, Max, <laughs> are you, are you, did you finish channeling? Or are you yeah, like, I'm done. Oh, you're done? Oh, I guess I jumped in too late. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, it's cool. I, was, I, was, I think I'm, I'm finished already. It's yeah. To wrap up. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I forgot we're still alive. <laughs> Yeah, that morning. was beautiful though, Max. That whole thing was great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's, and uh, when I watch channelings and like they resonate with me, it's like watching a a moving painting. Right. And that's what yours was like. So it's true. It has energy yeah. in it too, of course. And yeah. guess what, Max? It, this is your morning exercise, I believe. <laughs> right? What do you mean morning? Your now? morning at, at time it's not morning at your end at this time? No, it's still early. Now it's um Almost midnight. Oh, it's early in the in the dawn at my area. That's why I'm saying your morning exercise. You know. Did you, did you just say it's almost midnight, Max? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's 11:25 p.m. in Chicago. Okay. What about uh? Okay. Where's Jim live? No, Jim is not with him. <laughs> they separated. Like, I'm talking about the Saturday. Oh yeah, I I went to Chicago and Jim stays in Rochester. It's a uh, one hour more, so uh they have um 12:25 after midnight. Oh, okay. Because I was just wondering for the Saturday, because I want to be there for the freaking webinar, and it's like, yeah, I don't wake up that early, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you for co-creation of this. Um, um, <laughs> event. All right, of this magic. Um, See, that's what happens to me twice tonight. <laughs> twice what? Max, the, uh, mind, the mind blanking out. Oh, that's no, okay. It happens. Yeah, it happens uh, to me. You know, 
Max, why don't you make it a fixed time? Because we come here at um, different timings, you know, because at the very beginning I used to lose you. I never know what time you come. But now it's like yeah, um, I, I Unfortunately, I will try, but at the Keep moment... It fluid. Keep it fluid. At the moment, I... I um, like there are other or? things happening. There are other things happening. So I, you know, wow. when, whenever I can, I, I jump here. But but I have uh, uh, other things are around, and uh, I'm dependent on um, other people. Just just leave it to the moment, because I just happened to be on here, and I saw it right at the time you posted it. it just happened Me to too. Come out, right? Yeah. So I like Me it too. like that. It's better. Like but like I announced now widely, so so. Uh, uh, there was a parallel channel channeling. Uh, Ivan was channeling, so, so. Um, ah. I'm, mm, but um, it's okay. I, I got at least two people first joined, and I think I, I was helpful. Mm. Yeah. Okay. It seemed like the energy flew flowed fine. All right. Good night, and talk to you later. Uh, I hope to do morning channeling tomorrow, but I'm not sure. And. That would be and great. Uh, I, I hope to do every evening. I would do the channeling uh, in about the time uh, 9 9 p.m. my time, which will be 10 p.m. Eastern time. All right. Good night. Um, announcements. If anybody wants to get the invitation, email me through humancolony.org. Email me through that. Go to humancolony.org. Contact. Find my email. Send me email. Say uh, sign me up for. Um, for invitations, and I will invite you to my channelings. You also, you'll be part of the audience. Good night. Well, Thank I appreciate you for being it, here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.